Hey there, I'm going to give you a crash course on alternators. We're going to go over the basics of an alternator, what it is, its purpose, and how it works. Let's get started. So first, what is an alternator? It's one of the main parts of an electrical system. The alternator is like the electrical power plant for the whole vehicle. The first job of the alternator is to generate energy to feed the electrical system. That is, power things like lights, climate control, entertainment systems, and more. Today, though, the alternator is responsible for powering even greater electrical loads. Most vehicles have many computers in them as part of the engine, dashboard, and other smart electronics, so the alternator has to provide all the voltage and amperage to run the entire system. The alternator has a second job that basically works in tandem with the first. You may hear people say that the alternator charges the batteries, but it's more accurate to say it maintains the batteries. When you start the vehicle, it depletes some of the charge on the batteries. The alternator recovers that, so the next time you shut the vehicle off, you have enough juice to restart it. The alternator has what's called a regulator on it to help maintain battery charge. Think of the regulator as the brains of the alternator. It senses the electrical load requirements and controls the amount of power distributed from the alternator to the batteries. Now, let's look at how an alternator actually works. The alternator is mounted onto the engine. When the engine is running, it uses a drive belt that wraps around a pulley. The pulley turns the alternator's rotor. As the rotor turns, it creates a magnetic field, generating AC power. This is also known as alternating current power, hence the name alternator. The alternator's rectifier then converts the AC power into DC power, and this, the DC power, activates your vehicle's electrical systems. One final thing to know. Things like heat and vibration can decrease the life cycle of an alternator and put it out of commission much sooner, so it's important to be aware of those and take necessary precautions. That's it. Now that you know the basics of an alternator, you're ready for a deeper dive. Check out our second alternator video to learn about brush versus brushless, mount types, and amp output.